suppose I started at a club a bit like this when I was four. My dad was the, uh, the first team coach. I think they called it childcare in those days. <laughs> and we're in Telford today for basically a massive tag rugby tournament for um, disadvantaged and disabled kids. A number of years ago, Wooden Spoon Shropshire was approached to consider supporting the Rebels Disability Rugby Club, a club run by mums and dads on a shoestring. And really what they were about was creating an opportunity for their children and their friends and siblings with similar disabilities to involve themselves in a game that is so readily available for many, many people across the country. We've come down to lend a hand with Wooden Spoon to bring our learners to volunteer at this great rugby tournament. Well, as part of the HITS programme, young people develop their communication skills and their self-confidence, and this is, this is a progression of that. It actually gets them out into the community, understanding where they fit within that community. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, there's loads of kids, there's loads of adults, there's all families, friends, supporters, volunteers. It's just sort of what epitomises rugby for me. What you see today is what's great about rugby and we should celebrate days like this, you know, it's a, it's a game for everyone, for old and young, for able, disabled, for girls and boys and today you walk around and you just see everyone enjoying it. I think it's fantastic to play, to, to learn to play rugby and it's good to help people to do it. As you've seen today, it's not just about winning, it's about being part of something more important than just you. So Windstream is a charity I've supported for a long time and um, you know, there's so many good people who are involved in Spoon, so many people out there giving their time and giving their energy to support what is a fantastic charity. As a small group, we just could not have done this. Right. With the Wooden Spoon and the Hornets, yeah. we've been able to do it. The, the, the people that have been setting all this up have been just first class. Couldn't ask for a nicer bunch of folk. They get welcomed with open arms, as you can imagine, and like anybody being introduced to the game for the first time, they, they get swept up in the emotions of the sport and, and they don't look back. Even here at a special needs tag festival, it's just great to see the passion, the fun, the parents high-fiving their kids and it's an amazing feeling to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs>